are you today? I hope you're keeping well. Today I want to talk about sunscreen. I've had all these questions emailed to me and I think it's time we went through it together. I do. Please hit, hit the subscribe button. That would be cool. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. Everything helps. So here we go. Why should you wear sunscreen? Why should you wear sunscreen? Well, the question is, do you want lines, wrinkles, pigmentation? discolorations? Do you want to aggravate your acne, rosacea, any underlying inflammatory skin condition? Because if you don't wear sunscreen, that's what will happen. So sunscreen isn't just to protect you from skin cancers. It's also to protect your skin in a lot of other ways from visible light too. And we'll go into that. So you must wear sunscreen. You have to every single day, even when it's cloudy. Mm -hmm. Does sunscreen stop me from getting vitamin D? I thought that was a great question. The fact is that we know we get vitamin D from the sun. Of course we do. But I'm going to tell you right now, that is not the only place you're going to get vitamin D from. You'll get vitamin D from foods mm -hmm. and also from supplements. I really, I love, I take a supplement myself. Vitamin D3, 5,000 I use every morning, two of them. Yes, so... Don't just rely on the sun for vitamin D. Get it from supplements and from the food. Thinking about it that way. Yes. I have black skin. Do I need to wear sunscreen? Not a great question. Yes, you do. Because it doesn't matter what colour your skin is. You still have to protect it and shield it from those strong UV rays. You do. And also, um, black skin is predisposed and dark skin is predisposed disposed to having inflammatory, post-inflammatory pigmentation. So that's if you scratch your skin or you have acne and um, the lesion takes a long time to go away and sometimes it can leave a mark. So that's another reason why you really should wear sunscreen because wearing the sunscreen on black skin will absolutely prevent that post-inflammatory pigmentation from occurring. Mm -hmm. Good. Number four, what if you suffer from melasma, dark spots or post-inflammatory pigmentation and you fail to apply your sunscreens? Well, you are doing your skin one disservice. If you're prone to pigmentation of any kind, melasma, dark spots or post-inflammatory inflammatory, um, pigmentation, you must wear sunscreen because they're going to get worse. They will worsen if you don't put sunscreen on. So if you're prone to it, you should wear sunscreen every single day. It's a must. What is a physical sunscreen? Now, this is happening all the time. And I, this question is cropping up everywhere. And it's really important for you to know what a physical sunscreen is. I also like to call it a mineral sunscreen. But physical sunscreen is quite funny because a physical sunscreen physically stops the UV from entering the skin. That's an easy way to remember it. So, and the two that you need to know about, the two ingredients that work like that is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So when the UV light comes down to hit the skin, when you wear a physical sunscreen, the sun ray will deflect off, it will not enter the skin. Mm -hmm. So it works immediately to block UV light. How good is that? And that is a mineral sunscreen, zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. What damage does UVA and UVB rays cause? <laughs> well, UVA penetrates deep into the skin and it's going to break up your collagen. <laughs> so we can't allow that to happen. Everything should be protecting the collagen. So you, you've got to keep the collagen safe um, so that you don't age your skin. So that is UV rays can do that. Mm -hmm. And UVB penetrates just the surface layers of your skin, but they can cause skin cancer. And they're equally as bad because UVB, actually the ones that change, can change your DNA of your skin cells and make your skin prone to the basal cell carcinomas. And I'm speaking from experience here. I've had a couple, right? So that's what UVA and UVB both have to be really not entering your skin at all. Do physical sunscreens protect against visible light? And this is really something that 
a topic that's coming up and will crop up all the time. What is vis visible light? Well, we know that UV is invisible. We can't see visible, invisible rays, can we? So we can't see UVA, UVB C rays, but we can. We can see visible light. And this is what I need you to know about visible light is the things that you get off your smartphone, your devices, your iPads, etc. Invisible light causes discoloration and, and post-inflammatory pigmentation too. So we have to really protect our skin against that. And here's the thing, physical sunscreens are the only things that absolutely protect your skin from visible light. Mm -hmm. So that's zinc oxide again and titanium dioxide. Therefore, let's see, uh -huh. what are chemical sunscreens? Well, chemical sunscreens, these are interesting because chemical sunscreens is probably in most of the products that you will see in the drugstore on the shelves, a chemical sunscreen. So we've got avabenzone, oxybenzone, octosylate, etc. Those are chemical sunscreens and basically what happens is they allow the rays to enter the skin and they change them with a chemical reaction and turn them into energy. Mm -hmm. So they absorb the UV light, okay, so they absorb it, work differently um, and they don't last for as long. So this is a thing, if you've got chemical sunscreens in the house just now or in the office and you go in because you want to apply some more, don't apply old ones, they, they lose their, you know, their activeness. So you have to make sure that you really do keep keep them for a certain length of time, use them and then throw them out. Don't, don't use them when they're out of date. No, don't do that. And they do not offer protection against visible light. Chemical sunscreens do not offer protection. They don't. Which is more irritating to skin? Chemical? Definitely. Because these are the ones that can burn or feel stingy on the skin. Chemical sunscreens are very common to aggravate or irritate your skin. Yes, they are. Or cause an allergic reaction. In fact, too, they can cause an allergic reaction and that's chemical. You really don't get that with mineral ones. You don't. So should you apply sunscreen around the eyes? I thought that was quite interesting because why wouldn't you? <laughs> And I have to tell you right now, you have to apply sunscreen around the eyes because this area here is where you will be prone to basal cell carcinoma. And I'm speaking from experience because I've had them here. Okay, so one here, I don't know if you can see it, but I had one taken away from here and a skin graft, a piece of skin taken behind my ear and then placed over it. So you have to make sure you put the sunscreen over this whole area. Be very careful about that. And again, the mineral ones don't really sting the eyes. Where else should I apply sunscreen? You have to apply sunscreen on your chest. And right here, right now, I hope you've stopped spraying that perfume or putting that aftershave on and then going out to the sun. Because you spray those things on the skin or put some on the skin, as soon as you hit UV light, that can change and have a chemical reaction and make you prone to pigmentation. And some of you will be thinking that already. Oh, is that what those marks are on my chest? Yes, it is. So you should apply sunscreen on your chest. Definitely think about on your chest, on your neck, on your face, and do not forget the ears. Uh huh. Especially the guys, making sure do the back of the ears and the tips of the ears because this area here also can be prone to skin cancer at the top of the ear when you've got short hair. So be careful about that. Mm -hmm. How often should you apply? I definitely do think every two hours if you're outside, huh, 100%. What if you're swimming? I don't think, I, I've got a thing about those ones that say they're waterproof. I really would not trust that. Just apply it when you come out of the pool or come out of the water after I swim, put the sunscreen on again. Do I need to wear sunscreen indoors? And this is something that will think, no, you don't really need to because you're not going outside. But I'm telling you, you should because of the visible light that's hitting your skin. So I do think you have to wear sunscreen indoors. Yes, I do. What about if you are working right now from home and you've got a window beside you and there's sun rays coming through that? Well, I'm telling you right now that the UV will find your skin through the glass. 
Yes, it will. The UV rays will go through that glass and find your skin. So you have to wear sunscreen indoors. Terms to look for, broad spectrum, looking for that on packaging. What about if you wear, if I wear makeup or CC creams that contain sunscreen? Well, I think it is great that you do that. If you have got a makeup or a CC cream that's got an SPF in it, I'm all for putting that on, but I really do want you to put the sunscreen on before that too. I do. So thinking about cleansing your skin, applying your eye cream, applying your serum, and then your moisturizer, all nice thin layers, obviously, and then your sunscreen on top of that, and then you can put your makeup on or your CC cream. You know, going for the, the just a sunscreen and makeups and CC creams only, to me, that wouldn't be enough for you, okay? You really want to be making sure you get an SPF 30 and best to use mineral ones, definitely. Is sunscreen enough if you're outdoors all day? Well, no, it's not, because I still think you should wear that big hat those big sunglasses and UV protective clothing. If you're out in a golf course or you're out hiking or walking a dog even wherever, if you're outdoors most of the day, you really need to have more protection on. You should. So I hope that's answered all your questions about sunscreen. Remember, if you've got any more questions, put them in the comments below. I will definitely answer them for you. And I hope you have a great week and keep applying that sunscreen that is probably the best secret to skin anti-aging that I have is wear the sunscreen okay take care bye